Hello guys, this is Paul McCorder here with TopTechBoy.com and we are on lesson number 13, learning how to use the Raspberry Pi and learning how to operate the Raspberry Pi based on Linux commands. And so by this time, you if you've gone through the first 12 lessons, you're getting pretty proficient in Linux, enough to find your way around the system, enough to manipulate the files, do the things that you would want to do. Okay, at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to start learning a little bit more advanced commands, some of the little more power Powerful, uh, techniques that you can do in Linux. And today what we're going to learn is how to use pipes. Okay. And a pipe is just kind of like a pipe in, in a, you know, in water systems are. A pipe is something that connects one thing to another. You got one tank, you put a pipe to another tank. The sub from the first tank goes to the second tank. <clears throat> and that's really how pipes work in Linux. Uh, in Linux, there are commands that need an input. And then there are commands that give you an output. Well, what a pipe does is you take a command and you take the output from that first command and you pipe it to a second command. Okay. First of all, if you are going to do this, you got to know what the pipe is. It's the shift. Uh, let's see. Let me get this right. It mines over the slash, so it's the shift slash, and you get that vertical bar. Maybe I can show you on the keyboard. Uh, let's see here, this is kind of awkward, but you see above my enter, I've got this key, the slash above that is my pipe. It might be at a slightly different thing on your keyboard, but it should show up and you should be able to, uh, you should be able to see that, okay? So for me, it's shift slash and you get that vertical line, that's your pipe. So how would we do that? Well, first of all, where are we? How do we find out where we are? Huh? That's right, PWD. Okay, I'm in my home pi my stuff, so I'll do change directory dot dot. Okay, if you don't have a my stuff, you could do a make directory uh, my stuff. You just need to basically be able to get to a file. If you've been following along with me on the earlier lessons, you probably have some files around. And so on this one, I'm not going to go through recreating those files for you, but just uh, show you how it's going to work. I have my stuff. If I do ls. <coughs> my stuff. I have a file called my dogs and then if I cat uh, my stuff slash my dogs those are the names of my dogs. So <coughs> you basically need a text file that you can get to to kind of go through this lesson. Well what this is going to do is this is going to tell you, show you how you can take the output of one command and you can pop it to another command. And so what is something, what is uh, a command that I might want to do? Well, I might want to look in that my dogs file, so I might say cat. Got to give it a path. Where is it? I think I'm going to do the little squiggly we learned last time. Squiggly means my home directory. What is my home directory? Well, I'm user pi, so this would be go to root, go to home, go to pi. That is my home directory. I can get there with the squiggly, okay? And the squiggly will take me to my home directory and then slash. I want to go to my stuff. Okay. And remember, if you're not getting the squiggly, you need to make sure that you did lesson number 11, which is getting the keyboard working right with the Raspberry Pi. If you're having a problem with the Pi, go do lesson number 11 to get your keyboard um, uh, hooked up correctly or configured correctly. Okay. Go So cat, uh, go to my home directory, then go to my stuff, and then my dogs. Okay. What is the command? Cat. What is the path name? Go to my current directory slash my stuff slash my dogs. That The path is here. The file name is here. And then where does the output from that command go? Well, it goes to uh, the screen. What if I wanted to send it to another command? Like what if I wanted to sort this? Well, I could say cat and then the where, which is the path, go to my directory, go to my stuff, and then the file is my dogs. And rather than send that result of that to the screen, let's pipe it to cat. Okay, so we're going to pipe it to not cat like an animal, not cat like a file, but the catalog. So this should show me, uh, I'm sorry, I'm doing the cat. And then what I want to pipe it to is sort. So sort is a Linux command that we've already learned. And so the first command that we're using is cat. We're catting on this file and we're taking the output of the cat command and we are piping it to the sort function. And what happens? Boom! 
now the catalog is put in order. So the catalog of the file was sent to sort. It's sort. It's piped to sort. It's sorted, and then the output of sort is sent to the screen, which is shown in alphabetical order. What if I wanted reverse alphabetical order? How do I get my last command up arrow? Okay, and I say sort, and if I say minus R, this is sort in reverse order, and boom, I've got it sorted in reverse order. So this pipe command is very, very powerful, and you can use it with any function or any command that takes an input. So let's think, like, what's another thing with an output? Well, ls is an output. What if I ls my root directory? How would I get to my root directory? I would use the slash. Uh, I would use the slash, okay, and look, there's my root directory. Well, what if I want to ls slash and then pipe it to sort, and now I get my folders in alphabetical order. What if I did that, and then I said minus r space minus r, boom, I get my folders in, uh, uh, I get my folders and files and folders sorted in reverse alph alphabetical order. So, as you're starting to learn these different Linux commands, what's very, very powerful is to start getting comfortable with this pipe command because you can string functions and commands together to do really, really powerful things where the output of the first function is piped to become the input of the next function, and then you can really start building some pretty, uh, some pretty so sophisticated uh, functions and capabilities by using the pipe command. Okay, this has been a quick lesson. Hopefully, it was clear. Paul McWhorter, toptechboy.com, will be back at you shortly with another uh, another uh, Linux and Raspberry Pi lesson. If you're liking these things, give us a thumbs up. Leave us comments, man. I love getting comments. Let's share the video. Talk to you guys later.